guys, welcome back to the channel. I was doing some water changes around back here and I figured it'd be a good time to take a look at some of the turtles and maybe you guys could answer some of my questions that I have. Oh, let's flip around. So I'll do a quick overview of some of the tubs, turtles, and then we'll get a closer look. I have the Cora Animitica, the Maremis Rivesi. Up here I have the Vietnamese Pond Turtles or Maremis Anamensis. Yellow-headed temple turtles, Indian black pond, Maremis japonica. Down here I have the Maremis mudica cami I got from my buddy Guy Montecalvo. Super stoked, and his wife Liz. They do lots of cool things. Maremis nigricans and Kuora trifasciata. The Kura Trifasciata, the golden coin, I haven't done a water change on because I have fish living in here and some of the plants are looking okay. I'm just gonna let it, let it do its thing for a little while longer. This is the Kura Trifasciata that we just brought in, a male. And we are going to be bringing in a little female for him. The Cora trifasciata and Cora anamitica are in the same group. They are both considered golden coin turtles, and as a matter of fact, there are several different subspecies that are considered golden coin turtles. They're different though than the anamiticas because if he would put his head out, he's got a much more yellow head. where in contrast, the Cyclornatas have more of like a brown, it's less yellow. This one's more vibrant yellow if you look at one of our earlier videos. Still golden coin turtles, but classified different. These guys, I'm like kind of confused because I thought that males were supposed to have like a V and these are looking more U. No, they do have longer tails. So I'm wondering if, and they all seem to look like this. I'm wondering if I have all females. I thought they were all males. I'm not sure. That's a question. If you can answer that by looking at the plastron, put that in the comments below. This is neat too. I raised these two Vietnamese pond turtles from very small hatchlings. And then I picked this one up at this size from Hamburg. And look at how much lighter it is. I think it's just maybe the way that it was being kept, but I'm finding this very interesting. Not really a question, just an observation. Pretty neat. These are one of my favorite turtles, the Cora Animitica Cyclornata. They're one of the golden coin turtles. And I've been raising these since these were little hatchlings. They had the shell rot whenever I got them and it's been improving. Can't wait until it's completely gone and these guys are just flawless, but had a little bit on the bottom. That's pretty much all healed up. These guys are doing really well. I love my box turtles. And I love Asian species. So my favorite types of box turtles are Asian box turtles. These are Cora flava marginata. 
This guy is so, so friendly. He's like Garden State Tortoise's little Otis, as far as personality of all my turtles goes. He's great. Um, he's a boy. I got another one because I'd like to start a breeding group of these. I'm not really sure. It's a little early to tell. What do you guys think? Oh, another little boy tail. Oh, I need, I need some female. Battle marginata. All right, kiss and make up. No, I don't have no food. I don't have no food. Silly. All right. That was a quick little peek. Uh, that's kind of our specialties, just quick little snippet videos of what we're doing, keep you up to date on our little turtle projects. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I appreciate you for everything that you do. You like, you share, you comment, and just staying up to date and checking us out and being involved. So thanks. Love you guys. Appreciate you. See you in the next one.